When asked to write about current events, Tom Lehrer feels like a resident of Pompeii who has been asked to ask who's been asked for some humorous comments on lava. Uh, these days he feels when he reads the newspaper he's not amused but angry. He said, I'm not tempted to write a song about George W. Bush. I couldn't figure out what sort of song I would write. That's the problem. I don't want to satirise George Bush and his puppeteers. I want to vaporise them. However, oh, he still writes the occasional, the occasional questionable ditty, uh, such as Bye Bye Baby, a song about partial birth abortion, but he does this purely to appall himself. He's critical of modern comedians, uh, saying, Irreverence is easy, what is hard is wit. However, he has inspired generations of comedians after him, notably Weird Al Yakovich. Hold on, my segue I know in my heart they think I'm white and nerdy Think I'm just too white and nerdy Think I'm just too white and nerdy Can't you see I'm white and nerdy Look at me, I'm white and nerdy I'd like to roll with the gangsters Although it's apparent I'm too white and nerdy Think I'm just too white and nerdy Think I'm just too white and nerdy I'm just too white and nerdy How'd I get so white and nerdy? A Weird Al uh, is more parody than satire. I don't rate him myself. I, I think that's it's slightly easy. Uh, but uh, he's heavily influenced by Tom Lehrer, and he admits as much. Uh, someone asked me to name other mathematicians who went on to become performers. I know that Dave Gorman studied mathematics, and Dara O'Brien uh, studied mathematical physics, I believe. Uh, here's a group who are t carrying on uh, Tom Lehrer's tradition of musical comedy uh, in mathematics. Uh, this is a group of PhD students uh, from America. But lately our relation's not so well defined And I just can't function without you I'll prove my proposition and I'm sure you'll find we're a finite, simple group of order two. I'm losing my identity. I'm getting tenser every day. And with the loss of generality, I will assume that you feel the same way. Since every time. There you go, that's a, uh, quite a nerdy song that. Uh, that's, from, that's for the mathematicians. Uh, but uh, he's, uh, as Tom Lewis inspired other similar acts. Uh, there's some there's called the medical students who call themselves amateur transplants, uh, who I can't play because they're just too filthy, but they're heavily inspired by Tom Lehrer. I think uh, these days, at the moment, uh, the uh, successor to Tom Lehrer's crown is probably Tim Minchin. Uh, but uh, Tom Lehrer influences come up in uh, quite a United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru, Republic, Dominican, Cuba, Caribbean, Greenland, El Salvador, too, Puerto Rico, Colombia, Venezuela, Honduras, Guyana, and still, Guatemala, Bolivia, then Argentina, and Ecuador, Chile, Brazil, Costa Rica, Belize, Nicaragua, Bermuda, Bahamas, Tobago, San Juan, Paraguay, Uruguay, Suriname, and French Guiana, Barbados, and Guam. I actually have the Anima Animaniacs album, and uh, it, it clearly the guy who wrote it is influenced by Tom and Aero. Uh And that's it, and, uh, and that brings us up to date. Uh, when asked why he's also so good at mathematics, Tom Lehrer, uh, I think it has to do with abstraction. I think music is the most abstract of the arts. It's not representational. There's something mathematically satisfying about music notes fit together and harmony and all that and mathematics has got to do with abstraction and making connections and so this is what Tom, Be Tom Lehrer believes is just the connection between music and mathematics so I'm going to leave the final words uh, to Tom himself uh, in a song which makes the connection again uh, between music and mathematics Counting sheep When you're trying to sleep being fair when there's something to share being neat When you're folding a sheet That's mathematics When a ball bounces off of a wall When you cook from a recipe